Welcome to the best and to the only NFL power rankings that matter, the C-Score power rankings. Why is this the best? Because we use C-Score. This channel's metric for determining the quality of every single NFL team. If you're so interested, a further explanation of C-Score is available in the description of this video. If you're looking for rankings based on team's records, then you might want to check this out. The NFL standings. They're readily available in many places. These are the rankings heading into week 6. We debuted the rankings last week and there's going to be a lot of fluctuation from that. Several teams have still only played four games, while most have now played five, so we're still in a smaller sample size here. That said, we can still get a worthwhile snapshot into what each of these teams have done to this point, so there still may be some surprises found throughout. C-Score is an evaluative tool, not necessarily a predictive one. So based on the action in these first five weeks and nothing more, here are the NFL teams ranked from 32nd to 1st. Starting off with the bottom eight, we can see these fluctuations are more in raw C score than they are in order of rankings. For example, the Jacksonville Jaguars saw their C score jump up by 18 points, but only moved up two spots from 32 to 30. And yes, here at the bottom of the rankings, despite not having the worst record in the league, are the Miami Dolphins. Again, if records are absolutely your thing, go check out the NFL standings. The Dolphins are the worst performing team in the league, despite getting two victories. And one of those victories over the Jaguars doesn't do them a whole lot of favors. Not only did they barely win that game, but they trailed for most of it. C-Score notices that. Our next eight teams from numbers 24 to 17 see only one team with a positive C-score, the Bills, at number 17 with 4.074. The controversy here is going to be at number 22 with the 4-1 Houston Texans. Yes, they've gotten those four wins and they should be proud of those four wins. All of them were by a single score and they are being outscored on the season. There's certainly time for them to turn this around as their opponents get better and as they get a few more decisive victories, but as of right now, this is where they rank. Sandwiched all around them are the three teams that have taken the deepest dive in their ranking. The Seahawks have fallen five spots to 21st, the Bengals five spots to 24th, but no team has taken a bigger dive than the Indianapolis Colts falling six spots to number 23. Taking a look now at numbers 16 through 11, the Chargers at 14 are one of only two teams whose ranking did not change from last week to this week. The Cowboys have moved up four spots to number 16, and the Ravens are on the edge of the top 10 now after their 0-2 start, moving up four spots to number 11. The biggest drop here are the 49ers, who have fallen out of the top 10 to number 13. Losing at home to a so-so Cardinals team will do that. We've now entered the top 10, two new teams in the top 10. The Detroit Lions did not play last week, but they benefited from the action around them and have moved into 10th place. The team in contention here will be the Atlanta Falcons. Many believe they would rise up from last week and they have. They've moved up three spots to number eight. They've certainly played a difficult schedule, but C-Score recognizes that this team could be either 5-0 or 0-5. All of their games have been extremely close, including an overtime win this week. That is still a very good C-score for a team that's being outscored, so if they can get a couple of good wins under their belt, they will be threatening the top five. Ahead of them are the Broncos and the Steelers, who have fallen out of the top five. We'll now take on this top five one by one, starting with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Their C score is 17.387. They were ranked number four last week, losing an overtime game to a good Falcons team hurt, but not so much. They're still a very strong contender. The biggest rise in the rankings this week comes in at number four with the Washington Commanders powering all the way up from number nine, putting together a C score of 17.889. They're 4-1 and, and they're doing it in all facets of the game. All of those people who think that Jaden Daniels should win NFL MVP this season, keep in mind he is having a good year, no question about it. 
but his numbers are eerily similar to those of Daniel Jones from a couple of years ago. Not saying Daniels is Jones, but be on the lookout. This is a good commander's team, though. If by chance you were wondering where the New Orleans Saints are, here they are at number 3 despite a 2-3 and three record. We gotta look at the numbers a little more deeply though. They are outscoring their opponents by 44 points per game, and they've played on balance a pretty good schedule. That's not to say they didn't drop though. Their raw C score last time was around 30.3. Here they're sitting at 21.831, that's about an 8.5 point drop. They just had enough of a cushion ahead of them from the week before that they haven't fallen farther than this. Rest assured if they continue to lose, their ranking will continue to drop. There are only two undefeated teams left in the league and they rank 1 and 2. Here are the Kansas City Chiefs in second place. Their C score is 27.632. That's an improvement of over 5 points from the week before. The three teams that were ranked directly ahead of them last week all took a loss this week and Kansas City benefited. They finally got a win that wasn't just by a single score, so they're currently outscoring their opponents by 33 points against a pretty solid schedule. It should be noted that of those three teams ahead of them last week, one of them were the Saints, and that is who the Chiefs just beat. And now the only other team besides the Chargers who haven't moved in the rankings this week, the Minnesota Vikings, who remain at number one. Their 5-0 record, of course, is excellent. Their strength of schedule is okay, not spectacular, but pretty good. They're near the top in scoring points. They're near the top in points allowed. Their point differential is plus 63, which leads the league. They've been in control for most of their games and haven't had the overwhelming threat of a loss. Their C score sits at 34.258, about a 3 point drop from the week before, but they still sit comfortably about 6.5 points ahead of the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the top 32 as a whole. I would say they're on a whole lot of surprises based on what people thought before the season. The Texans being a 22nd again is going to be lower than anyone else is going to have them. Their record says they're 4-1. They'd be in the playoffs. They'd earn a playoff spot if it started today. They can move up. One big surprise, I would say, at number 7, the Denver Broncos. They're doing it with defense and some timely offense. The 49ers, not great at number 13. The Eagles at number 12, hard to say what people may have thought of them before the season. But maybe, perhaps, the biggest surprise of all sits here at number 1 with the Minnesota Vikings. We'll be back next week with another set of power rankings after those games have been completed. Be sure to leave a comment about anything that's on your mind regarding these rankings. I'd love to hear your thoughts about where the Falcons should be, where the Texans should be, where the Saints should be, or any other team as well. Please be sure to leave us a like, share this around with some friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ding that bell for future notifications so you don't miss next week's power rankings and the other videos this channel creates. Thank you again for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you have an awesome day.